Hi. Welcome. In this episode, we are at the Longonot satellites. Welcome to the awe-inspiring tale that starts back in 1972, where a nation held its breath with anticipation. In a historic moment, Kenyans witnessed the incredible as Kipchoge Keynote sprinted towards destiny in the Munich Olympics. But this was no ordinary race. It was a steeplechase, and Keynote shattered records with a stroke of gold. One barrier from home, and surely he won't be caught. Not the best clearance, he's very tired. But it's Kano coming home to become the Olympic steeplechase champion. The entire country erupted in jubilation, for it was a triumph made possible by groundbreaking technology. Back to the year 1970, when Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda joined with Intelsat, a global satellite consortium, granting them the rights to establish other stations. Determined to usher their nations into a new era of communication, they set their sights on the Longanot area within the flow of the Great Rift Valley. Here, their vision took shape and the first phase of the Longanot Earth Satellite Telecommunications was born. Imagine a place buzzing with energy where people of all nationalities worked tirelessly day and night pushing the boundaries of technology to ensure that East Africa will be connected to the world in real time. Through the East Africa External Telecommunications Company, they harnessed the power of the Intelsat 3 and 4 satellite stationed over the Indian Ocean. In the year 1970, Mze Jomo Kenyatta officially opened the one and only satellite teleport serving Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. However, before this momentous occasion, he renamed the mountain that stood as the station's namesake. The Mount Margaret Satellite Station. In fact, it is not on a mountain. And Mount Margaret is not an indigenous African name. I have therefore decided to change the title and in future this will be known as the Longanut Satellite Station. A mountain once known as Mount Margaret, a tribute to a flamboyant sister of the Queen of England, suddenly transformed into a symbol of technological progress. Henceforth, it was christened Mount Longonot in a moment of historical significance. Viewers of VOK, the national broadcaster at the time, severed international programming beamed directly through this remarkable station. To immortalize this remarkable achievement, the East Africa Postal Service created commemorative stamps featuring the installation and its awe-inspiring 29-meter diameter parabolic antenna. As each nation gained its independence, the station dedicated its services exclusively to Kenya. Fast forward to 1981, when the completion of the Longonot 2 satellite earth station brought the world even closer to Kenya as it linked via the Atlantic Ocean satellite. In 
1995, the first attempt to introduce the internet in Kenya was met with a resounding official rebuff by the then mighty Kenya Post and Telecommunications Corporation. Consequently, the internet was held at arm's length until 1999. In 1997, the majestic Chagaya satellite earth station rose in the highland town of Kericho, forging a vital connection to Japan. Here, cutting-edge technology in the form of VSAT satellites became part of the backbone of Kenya's high-speed internet and mobile connectivity. Enter the year 1999, the moment that echoed with the winds of change as the country entered the new millennium. Parliament passed the Kenya Information and Communications Act a groundbreaking telecommunications law that shattered the barriers of the old order. The mighty Kenya Post and Telecommunications Corporation was sectioned into the Communications Commission of Kenya, Telcom Kenya, and the Postal Corporation of Kenya. This pivotal moment also marked the official recognition and democratization of the internet, paving the way for a multi-operator environment. In 1970, this is what it would take for you to watch your TV channel. Today, the phone in your pocket has way more technology and way more advanced features than this satellite could ever manage. But yet, this is where it all started. Fast forward to the present day, Kenya boasts of a staggering 18 million internet users and an astounding 64 million mobile connections. The Longanot Art Station stands as a testament to the indispensable role technology plays in driving our nation's economy. It remains a towering monument, reminding us that greatness can be achieved in collaboration with political will. For all its years in action, we have to thank the Longanot Satellite for being the reason why today we enjoy the best of technology as we do. The adoption of Kenya as, as a hub technology started here in the 1970s at the floor of the Great Rift Valley. Yeah.